in Suffolk County today released those tapes, hoping to help unravel the 12 year old Gilgo Beach mystery. Today, a bit of a shocking finding. Police now say that they do not believe that Shannon Gilbert's death is a case of murder. But they hope this and other evidence they decided to release today will help them solve what has been a rather embarrassingly long unsolved cases of mass murder, the murders or other kinds of deaths of seven other people in Suffolk County and three others in Nassau County. Eyewitness News reporter Kristen Thorne is live in Brentwood with our lead story tonight. Kristen. Listen, Bill, police have been saying for quite some time that they weren't exactly sure if Gilbert was murdered or if she died in a marsh near Gilgo Beach. But after hearing these calls today, it does sound like that is a possible scenario. No, oh, stop it, please. In the 23 minute 911 phone call released by police from 2010, we hear Shannon Gilbert go from scared for her life to confused. Why are you calling me by my name? What's the matter? Are you okay? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to me? Let's go back to Manhattan. Police say that's the voice of Michael Pack, Gilbert's bodyguard. Police say Pack drove Gilbert to the home of Joseph Brewer in Ocean Beach. Brewer had hired Gilbert, who was a sex worker. At some point during the meeting with Brewer, Shannon reportedly began acting irrational. Please, can you the door? No, time to go. Please, something's going to happen to me. After that, Gilbert runs out of the house. She starts knocking on people's doors. Those people call 911 too. Uh, 40, 43, the bayou. Some woman is knocking at my door. She says she's in danger. The last thing we hear on the call is Gilbert running again. Police say they believe Gilbert ran into this marsh in Gilgo, which would have looked like this at the time that night. They believe that's where Gilbert died. Right now, we believe it's a tragic accident. Police do not believe Gilbert's death is related to the murders of other sex workers whose remains were later found in Gilgo. For the first time, they're explaining why. In this case, she's found on the south side of the parkway. In all the other cases, she's found, they're found on the north side of the parkway. In this case, our victim called 911. None of the other cases okay. resulted in 911 calls. She's found with her identification with her. She's found with money with her, with cash with her. Um, there's no effort to conceal her body. So I think the real news today is that for the first time after all of these years, we have police acknowledging that they do not believe that Shannon Gilbert's death is related to the other murders of sex workers found in this area of Gilgo Beach. And that is very big news. Police say that Brewer and Pack, if you were curious about them, they say that they fully cooperated with this investigation and they're not considered suspects in anything at this time.